solo leveling started watching this so far three episodes in yeah not bad we'll see i never read the manga so um we'll see how it goes my brother read it my younger brother and he said it's it's pretty good so i have high hopes i'm on a landscape page use a pencil eraser hit pause if i go too fast this was a key image i think that was released when the anime was being promoted so let's give this a go Sung Jin Woo. So he's kind of leveling up. He still has like a band-aid on his face in this one. So, and longer hair. Let's go. So, got that big blade coming out this way. And his face is kind of over to the left, right? So it's not bang in the middle. Center point to my page is about here. We're just going to come over this way. So his face will be like in here a little bit. So let's go. We'll go diagonal. Start with his right eye. Right, and then this goes just sort of across, kind of pretty straight at first. Real spiky kind of eyes, right? We'll just get the main shape in first and then we'll like thicken everything up. Bottom eyelid comes down that way. Just goes around to the eyelid there. So you want to thicken up the top eyelid, right? So you want to like add some, just some extra heaviness to the line. He does have like extreme like pointiness back here. And then we go back in, got this hook on the outside edge. They do have like some little extra lines and thing here at the front. One, two, and everything like that. Right. And then his iris half circle coming down from the top eyelid line, like he's just looking up from underneath his eyelid at us pupil there coming down half circle black just there in the middle <clears throat> and then an eyelid line here and on top they do a couple of these now so they do like one coming across the top there and then like a little one just underneath the eyebrow it looks like here And then the eyebrow itself, very thin. So, very flat and very thin there. Thicken it up a little bit in the middle. So, very thin eyebrows. Okay. So he looks like beat up on the other side. So we're about eye width over, right? Maybe not the full spike, say the white of his eye. That'll fit in between both of his eyes. And you can start the next diagonal line for the other eye, just here. Okay, so like see this white, and like fits in between here to here. And we just do that same process again. And most of this goes underneath his hair, so it might be covered by the time we're finished. Like some of the corner of the eye. So, spike it down. Goes around and up, and then we'll like darken up this section back here. This little spike on the eye, <coughs> and the top of it as well. Right, so then his iris <coughs> half circle again. Uh, 
Is it me or is that eye bigger than the other one? Is he supposed to have a bigger eye? Does that happen? Does he have one bigger eye? Mm. No, maybe that's a mistake. It's like the gold eye and the blue eye. So what we'll do is curve this around. Keep them about the same size, maybe. Roughly. And then pupil. Underneath. And then we'll go for eyelid lines. So again, he seems more beat up on this side. Like he's got like some scratches and stuff underneath his eye. Like lots of these. Something like that. And then another eyelid line just on there. And then the eyebrow is across there. And we'll just thicken this up a little bit. Like so. And maybe we need like another sort of eyelid line there. Slightly different now on that side. I have a feeling this will be his like first major level up. Am I right? Of course, there's people out there who know exactly what happens in the show, but because they've read the manga. <clears throat> Okay, so his nose, right, it's different than what we're used to drawing. So we'll go straight down, right, <clears throat> first, and then curves down like so. Sorry if I have a cough. I have a tickle in my throat. Fighting, fighting colds and flus in our house at the minute. Right, and then his mouth. Curves up this way. He's got kind of a dimple, and then they leave a gap, right? It looks like he got punched in the mouth because, like, this is like all sort of bumpy and sort of broken a bit here. I might join them up. I'm not sure how I feel about that. And then his bottom lip, just there. And there's like all blood and like scratches and stuff around his face on his cheek <clears throat> just there for some reason his hair is shorter on that side what is happening i don't know why he has short hair on one side and not on the other oh maybe that's because he's like oh that side is the old him oh i get it now this is like him being all beat up and then he's like cooler <laughs> or something on this side. Okay, so that's why that eye looked bigger. Oh, interesting. So that's like his chin. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. Real pointy chin, right? And then his jaw. up this way and then we go up that way and it goes underneath hair a bit like beside his mouth here but also there is like a plaster or as you say in America or other parts of the world a band-aid right just on his face there. So his hair is really long on this side, so you can't see any more of his facial structure. But we can on this side. So about in line, see like his jawbone is about in line with the tip of his nose there, and just under like the corner of his eye, because that's where you change direction with the side of his face, like that. Now we got to deal with lots of hair spikes. So. 
no easy way of doing this if you've been following my channel for a while you just kind of have to go with it they're kind of like in anime generally they're like shark fins that's what i was trying to say and he's kind of got this bowl shaped hair and it's longer on this side and shorter on this side because i've just discovered it's like his transformed side and his old side all destroyed <laughs> so so start with one here. Okay. And then smaller one. Just like so. And I think we see a part in his hair here, kind of. down this way first yes yeah, so there's a bit of a part in his hair here so we'll see some hair spikes that way and add more of his fringe now So this is the longer side. Okay, so kind of like his old hair there. Right, so that's like his fringe, kind of goes longer as we go down. So we can see his ear on this side. It's curving around like so. And then some like ear lines inside. And then some more hair. So we just start adding it going the whole way around his head. This is going to go the whole way down now. So we'll go. off this way and then there mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
All right, we're nearly there. Okay. Tricky enough hair, that. Make this a bit longer. Okay. Now, with the blade, right? So it kind of, it's on his chin, right? It co covers his face a little bit. So, let's go for it. Let's go. The hilt of it, this sort of golden... Sort of section here, this zigzag line that comes right down from his lip, and then the other side goes down this way. Right, so we got to sort of add some edge lines to things to make it look sort of metallic and 3D. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. There, and there's another one. So like here. Right. And then our handle of our sword comes, not the handle, sorry, the handle goes left. But the blade is right. And is there a pattern in this? We'll get the shape first. So he's got <clears throat> like crazy big spikes on it. So we'll go, we'll do this first on this side. Okay, so you do this kind of curves, spikes. So they're kind of like ticks, little ticks that go this way. And you go the whole way, the length of this side. Many count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, this is the last one. And so then this one goes to there. And then we will hook it around like that. A little hole or something. And then this goes right to the tip of it there. So there's, there's a different pattern on the bottom here. So this will go. down to there and then it comes to a spike here and then this curves back around like that and then this will go to the edge of the blade down there now so <clears throat> it looks a bit flat, right? So what we gotta do is add these edge lines to things. So there, these are like the little three dimensional sort of lines that make it look sort of bumpy. Okay, and say like, go from there to there, and then that'll curve around to here. And then this bit curves around close to the tip of the blade. So it goes like down to there. And then we have something similar on these. So they kind of like go around like this. And the next one. This one just like curves up to there. And then this seems to have a little dip in it as well. It goes off that way though. 
<clears throat> so then there's these two circles here. And then it looks like there's a pattern on the blade. So let's try this. So it goes C2, go like here. And then this little thing curves around here. And then there's another one. Squeezes up and down. This one goes up and down as well. Okay. Now, his hand is holding the blade. And then his other hand is holding his hand. So, <clears throat> knuckles, fingers and knuckles. So we're gonna go up this way for his knuckles, right? So we go one, two, three, and then there's a bit of a gap. So we'll deal with the three knuckles first, right? So they go down this way. and then <clears throat> like the side of his finger here just disappears behind the handle which is roughly here so three fingers and then his other hand is holding that hand. But we've got like another finger here like wrapped around. So it's like his his pinky sort of finger. Here. Comes down like so. And put the handle of the sword in there. So hands are notoriously difficult things to draw, so take your time. <clears throat> so his other hand is being held by this hand. So we can kind of just see with his thumb here and his index finger. We'll get the index here first, right? That's kind of this bumpy sort of thing. So, like that, and then come on underneath here. These, these curved lines. Then we got maybe like a fingernail. But it's like cracked and stuff. On that side, and maybe some like knuckle lines and stuff there. Got all blood and scratches on these fingers. This is obviously his bad hand. And then the next finger. It's coming around there. His wrist goes off that way. I think we can see like a little bit of his thumb. It's right here holding. It comes out and then goes down. There's like a thumbnail there somewhere. <clears throat> so that's tricky now. So pause it. If you're finding it difficult, hit pause and do your best. Don't beat yourself up if you can't do hands. They're not easy. Uh, right, so then, end of the sword here. 
wraps around like that and then spiking blade on the bottom as well bit of a spike there or something okay so <clears throat> we got to put a body in behind here so we got like neck muscles in there coming from his jaw trapezius muscle quite high up this way and then his shoulder goes in that way and then the way they draw shoulder muscle is just with the line there and then his chest and bicep over now his tricep on the other side has a big slice taken out of it a big cut and there's like scratches and bumps and blood and everything here shoulder down that way not as muscular obviously on this side wider here like so and again there's, there's all like scratches and blood and things on this side of his body one side of him's all beat up one side is like really clean and ready for action um that's it hardest part is probably the hands i must admit so if you're thinking i couldn't do the hands don't worry hands are hard for me as well pause it if you can't do a section like if the hands are too complicated just pause the video you can even trace the hand part trying to rest you know if you're just trying to get better at drawing <clears throat> tracing is not a bad thing i have a cough <coughs> I feel like this side. <laughs> Sung Jin Woo. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs> Can't stop coughing. <coughs> Sorry. Bye bye. Help.